Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing just a more kind of quote unquote girly eye look than I usually do. And I'm gonna be going back to doing the lighter NYX foundation as my concealer. I did like that look, it didn't crease underneath my eyes and we're going to be dipping into another set of the Kat Von D fetish eyeshadow anyway so update on yesterday's mostly powder makeup look one it wore for the 12 hours no joke Wore for 12 hours, didn't splotch, didn't break up, didn't anything. But, I did have an issue and it might have been with the application. That powder oxidized like three shades. I looked like a freaking Oompa Loompa people. I am not joking. I could have been in the next Willy Wonka. But, it could have been with the application because I used, like, the powder puff to apply it. So, it may be different with applying it with a brush. I don't know. But, I look like freaking Oopaloopa. Like, it literally, you could tell from my ear to my cheek that that was three freaking shades too dark. I'm not joking. Uh, it was so crazy. But, it lasted the 12 hours, actually longer, because, you know, I put it on at, like, 5.30. I got off work and home at, like, 7, 10, 7, 11 this morning. So, that held up. It came to play. So, I'm putting on my Wet n' Wild matte primer so that might be something i look into um playing with in the future for more 12 hour shifts i do have several more in the future oh uh, matter of fact every tuesday for the rest of january Anyway, so I'm going to let that sink in for just a second. And we're going to be using these NYX foundations. I have light ivory for all over my face and I have light porcelain that I'm going to be using as a concealer today. I'm going to be going in with this Real Technique sponge because I seriously need to wash my wonder sponge again anyway so I'm just gonna take and start applying my foundation I did have a lot of fun with that challenge and the look did turn out quite nice and it did wear all night and I was very pleased with it because I was kind of worried about my about my makeup not lasting all night and me being at work looking like a hot mess. So that did turn out quite nicely. All I need to do now is work with that setup and get it to work. I mean, even the powder concealer worked all night, so I didn't have the dark circles under my eyes. And I've just got to get the look down to where it will wear without turning me orange. So, if you have any tips or tricks, let me know. You know, you guys know I'm up for subject suggestions. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to get me a good look going. 
these 12 hour shifts are killing me. I'm really tired today. I did not want to get out of bed. It's after 8 p.m. Hold on just one second, guys, because I'm sure my alarm's going to go off, so I'm going to shut it up real quick. Okay, guys. So, at least the alarm won't be blaring into the mic again. Anyway, so, getting... Trying to get my foundation on. I'm just struggling today. I'm still super tired. I was super tired when I got off work and I just couldn't fall asleep. I got yes I got the powder foundation. Well I got the powder challenge makeup powder makeup challenge video up and the description box done and the thumbnail done and got it up for it to post and did a little bit of housework and took a bath and was laying in bed and it was like my body was like no 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 no, we're not going to sleep. We're not going to sleep. You will never sleep again. It felt like some kind of screwed up, like, Freddy Krueger type of thing. I was like, oh my god, I can't fall asleep. Why can't I go to sleep? Just let me go to sleep! It was just, it was not happening. Finally, sometime after 11, my body finally just was like, okay, we will go to sleep now. And passed out. I was like, oh. Thank you for letting me sleep. Okay, so we're going to take this light porcelain shade that we all know is way too light. And we're going to use it as concealer. And I think that is way too much on that eye, but hey, who cares? Down the center of my nose. I might even use some right up here. And even have the dog down here. It kind of clogged up a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. See that like gunk right there? That's a little weird. Anyway. Blendy, blendy, blendy. Is that blending or is it taking off? Okay. So, we're done with that. Now, for setting purposes, we're going to be going in with Derma Blend all over the face with this Luxie 532. I absolutely love this stuff. It makes my makeup last 
and look absolutely beautiful it sinks right into my skin and gives me this like airbrushed velvety soft feel so there's my derma blend and then I'm gonna bake under my eyes with my Cody Air Spun. I just take my sponge. The Derma Blend, the Pretty Vulgar, even that Urban Decay, they're so finely milled that when you try to bake under the eyes, you can't really get like a good build up to get a bake. It's like you keep applying, you keep applying. And the best thing you can do is get like a small little build up and all it does is accentuate the dark coloring under your eyes. It doesn't really bake well to catch any fallout. It just accentuates any dark coloring under your eyes. With the Cody, it builds up quite easily. It doesn't accentuate any dark coloring under your eyes. It catches the fallout. And it dusts off quite easily. And I use the kind that has the extra coverage. So if I happen to, when I'm dusting it off, kind of knock anything loose with my foundation or anything like that, with the extra coverage, it kind of like fills in anything so they don't have to worry about that. Anyway, so we're going to be going with Kat Von D today. We're going to be doing like a pink color eyeshadow and she has quite an interesting selection in here so in fetish we have this whole little section over here so we're gonna kind of go in and fill our way out so I'm gonna take this wet and wild fluffy brush and I'm gonna go into rubber which is just kind of a flesh tone color and I'm going to go all over my eyelid with that. I'm just going to kind of, it has a lot of pigment, so I'm just going to kind of brush that out. I don't know why it held so much pigment on one eye and didn't on the other. That's very weird. Anyway, then I'm going to use this Wet n Wild blending brush that I'm making sure has no pigment on it. I'm going to make sure even more with this color switch. And I'm going to dip into the color Safe Word, which is kind of like a pink mauve color right here and that is going to go into my crease first I'm just kind of stamping down the color and then I'm going to go back and blend.
Okay, so we have that shade down. Now, for the outside corner, I'm loving having this color switch. I got it for a dollar off of Shop Miss A. Nice little color switch. Quick for in between cleaning brushes. Now, I mean, all these look hideous because they're needing to be clean, but there's absolutely no pigment on these. I'm going to be going into the shade Bondage, which is this reddish pink color. I'm just going to tap into that. And here we go outside corner. Okay, got that laid down. Now we need a packer brush. Again, we're gonna be hitting up this color switch, just to make sure. And see, the cool thing about this is I can pull it out. You see that pigment at the bottom? I can just tap that out. There's gonna be some in the bottom of this. I'm gonna just dump that out into the garbage can, give it a couple of good taps. And we're good to go. It's gone. Got me a nice little wet and wild packer brush. I think I'm going to be going into the color Dominatrix over this stiletto color. See, this is stiletto down here. It's kind of more of a purplish pink. Dominatrix is more of a reddish pink. So I think I'm going to go into Dominatrix. Ooh. And I'm going to pack that onto the lid. Then I'm going to go back in with my blending brush back into Safe Word and just marry Safe Word with bondage. And that is going to be that look. Let me see what I've got over here. But I think I'm gonna take, let's see, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take this. A little bit farther. I'm gonna take this little packer brush right here. I'm gonna dip into blindfold. Oh no, that's a little darker than it looks. This uh, palette can be a little deceiving on the colors, just so that you know. So you want to look at them, you know, we'll play with them a little bit. Uh, we'll leave it this way. No, I don't. 
second guys I'm trying to come up with something pink colors here we go okay so I have this little flat brush right here and I have my elf 70 70s feels I'm gonna go in this light pink shade right here and I'm gonna go right up here and highlight my brow bone just to clean up any edges and give it a nice little pow. So that's the final eye look. And I'll be right back. All right guys, so I'm gonna dust off my bake. And dust off the rest of my face. Oh, why is there so much setting powder in my hairline? Why am I trying to set my hairline? Okay. Okay, so as you can see right here, I've kind of got the alligator skin going on. So definitely today going to be hitting up a lot of this Smashbox So Chill Coconut Water. I'm going to have to get something similar to this soon. As you can tell, I'm getting low. This helps meld my skin together. when it starts looking like this so that my makeup doesn't look all cakey but I can still do my makeup the way I always do it all right and as you can tell it's already starting to lose that alligator effect okay enough with that let's move on to contour so we're going to go into park avenue princess i think today we're going to hit angle with this luxie 680 brush Ooh, okay we're just going to kind of blend that a little bit Actually, I'm going to kind of blend that a lot because it's a little dark today. Blend the crap out of that. Alright, so I'm going to take this Luxie 532. I'm going to go into the shade Enhance. You're going to buff over that contour because it's a little dark. Well, it's a lot of dark. Who are we kidding? I mean, I understand being contoured to God, but I mean, damn. My guys would look at me and go, uh, bitch. You don't need to. You will cut several of us. Alright, so we have toned down our contour. Let's go into bronze. We're going to be using the e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer. This is a really good bronzer. I really enjoy this. It's a, a perfect shade. It well wears well. Eventually, I'll be able to talk people, I promise. I'm going to get this shit together. Um, it is Forever Sunkissed, and I'm going to go in with this AOA Studio F11 Gigantic Fan Brush. It wears beautifully. I just can never get into it. On, like, my first or second try. It takes, like, three or four. I'm just going to coat that, tap it a little bit, and into my hairline. 
because I don't want to look like an Oompa Loompa. I just want to look like the sun actually likes me because it doesn't. Last night was very funny at work because I looked like an Oompa Loompa and my coworker decided that she wasn't getting enough um, results from 15 minutes in the tanning bed. So she spent 35 in it and she looked like a lobster. So we had a lobster and an Oompa Loompa at work last night. It was hilarious. And her husband is a narcotics agent with our agency. And so him and his coworker came in and he was telling his coworker, he's like, look at her, ask her what she did. Ask her what she did. <laughs> Yeah, it was a interesting night at work. Sad least. The funniest part about it though is like she pulled up her shirt and I was like, look at your belly button. It's as white as my arm. Anyway, so now we are bronzed. Next, we're going to go into blush. We're going to go into this Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink Blush. I'm not huge on blush, but I like this blush. It wears well. It doesn't, like, make you look like somebody has, like, slapped you in the face right off the bat. And I just pull that into my contour. This and my Laura Geller blush are my two favorite blushes because they're not overly pigmented. You can build them up if you like a lot of blush. I don't, so they are the right amount for me. Going in with Wet n Wild's Precious Petals highlighter and I'm going to be doing the same kind of thing I've been doing with my highlighters the past week or so where I'm going to go with my finger and pat on some of the is it going to do it with this because I mean I'm getting it on my finger oh there we go I'm going to pat on some of the pigment and then I'm going to go back and sweep on some of the pigment it has worked for me. It may not work for others. If you have a way of putting on highlighter that works for you, continue with your method. This just has been working for me, so that is the reason why I've been doing it. Ah! Attack of the brushes. So I'm going in with this Luxie 660 tapered highlighting br brush. I can't talk. And just dipping in and going back over what I laid down and adding just a little bit more. These Wet n Wild highlighters don't just like slap you in the face with highlighter. It's more of a subtle highlight, which is okay. Okay, so that is that. And I'm going to go back again with some more, where'd I put it? Where'd I put it? Ah. Oh, it's hiding behind the brushes. With some more of this Smashbox So Chill Coconuts. And that in. Okay, and then for eyebrows today, we're going to be using an e.l.f. eyebrow brush. Unfortunately, we're going to be using... No, yeah, unfortunately, we're going to be using this. <sighs> no. I'm going to use freaking pink mascara just to avoid that crap. I really don't want to use that grande mascara, so I'm going to use pink freaking mascara not to use it. That's how bad I hate that crap. I'm going to use this e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. Fill in my eyebrows real quick. Just pull that color through. 
I was very pleased with my how my eyebrows turned out yesterday. And update on that. They did not smudge. They did not budge. I was getting frustrated at work yesterday. And touching my face. They didn't come off. I was very pleased with that. Okay. <sighs> oh, my face is very dry. Anyway, guys, so we're going to be going in with this Wet n Wild Colored Mascara in the shade Pale Pink. I like these colored mas mascaras from Wet n Wild. They do really separate and do not clump your lashes. I'm just not a fan of pink mascara because I'm a redhead. But... It does take two coats, and when I say two coats with these color mascaras, literally do your top lashes, do your bottom lashes, and go back and do your top lashes. Like right now, I'm going back. And doing a second coat on my top lashes. And going back and doing a second coat on the bottoms. I'm going to do the other eye and be right back. Okay guys, we're back. So, mascara's on, eyebrows done, everything else is done. I still kind of have a little bit of the alligator patchiness, but we're going to take care of that with a dewy setting spray now. We have a huge decision to make. What lipstick are we gonna wear? And this is a huge decision because are we gonna wear Jeffree Star's Can't Relate? Or are we gonna wear Jeffree Star's Unicorn Blood? I'm leaning more toward Unicorn Blood because this is not really a dark eye look. So, I wanna go dark lip look. I wanna go dark lip look every day. I'm not even gonna kid, but I think this would look better with the eyes. Yes, I kind of made up my mind anyway. But, you know, we were going to pretend that there was an option. Anyway, why did my. Oh, good lord, I got to hurry up. Because my camera is going to die. Alright guys, here's my final look. I got dark lips, kind of a muted eye, and here we go. I'm going to hit this up with some Tarte Ready Set Radiant. Anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Ring that bell. I'm posting five days a week before 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Leave a comment below if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or ideas for new videos. Or find me anywhere across the internet. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!